the funeral prayer. It's a prayer that has no bowing, no prostrating. You raise the hands in praise, and then in between, for three times, you fold them right over left in reverence. And in the first, you say the first chapter of the Quran. In the second, you say benedictions. In the third, Rabbanang Firli Wale Wale Deya Wale Mu'menina Yamaya Kumu Hesab. Our Lord, forgive me, and the ones who are my parents, and the ones who believe on the day the reckoning arises. And we see that Abraham's prayer in this chapter goes from verse 35 to that verse, verse 41. But more traditionally, people tend to say like one of the following. Allahumma <laughs> Darahi wahlan kiran min ahlahi wa zaujan kiran min zaujahi wa nkilhu janata wa edahu min azabil kamre wa dhabinar. All divinity. Forgive him mercy upon him, excuse him, and pardon him, make honorable his reception, pardon his entry, and cleanse him with water, snow and ice, purify him of mistakes as a white robe is purified of filth, exchange his home for a better home, and his family for a better family, and his spouse for a better spouse, admit him into the garden and protect him from the punishment of the grave and the torment of the fire. And of course, one of the important things there is that if somebody's known to be, have been a misbeliever, much more so a misassociator, then one doesn't do the funeral prayer for them. Now, if they're alive, you could pray for the guidance. Like I do for everybody who's a witness to my existence. Um, but I'm not going to, you know, pray that there are flaws in belief and there are flaws in action or, you know, that's something they got to deal with. Um, Wa shahedana wa ngaebena wa sangirena wa kabirena wa dakarena wa undana 
Arahumma manna hyaitahu nanna fahyaha Aaveslame wa mandawa vaidahu nanna vadawe Fatawa fahu alau Imana Allahumma la tahrimna ajrahu wa la tudilvana bada. All divinity, forgive our living and our dead, those present and those absent, our young and our old, our males and our females. All divinity, Whoever of us you keep alive, then let such a life be upon surrender. You know, submission to God. And whom amongst us you take to yourself, then let such a death be upon faith. All divinity do not deprive of us of his reward, and do not let us stray after him. So praying for the legacy of a person to be upon what's right. So the ill legacy of those who died Muslim in particular, we're praying for their ill legacy to cease and their influence towards good to remain. And that's the word I kind of stumbled on after Minna and before La, we have Fa-ta-wa-fa. And another that can be said, Allahumma enna fulana na fulanin fi the matika wahable jawarika fakehe min not till abre wa ababe nare wa anta ahlul wa fa wa hakke fagfir lahu warhamhu inaka antal kafuru rahim al bindi such and such is such child of such is under your care and protection. So protect him from the trial of the grave and the torment of the fire. Indeed, you are faithful and trustful. Forgive and have mercy upon him. Surely you are the offer giving, the most merciful. Another option. Alumma. Abduka Wabnu Amatika Tadja Ella Rahmatika Anta Aniun An Ababehe In Kana Mohsenan Vazidvi Hasanatehe Wa In Kana Visian Fatadja Was Anhu, Alabindi, your servant, the son of your great servant, is in need of your mercy, and you are without need of his punishment. If he was righteous, I increase his reward. If he was wicked, then overlook his sins. And so on. God is the greatest. Fatah, God is the greatest. Benedictions. God is the greatest supplications like we've seen included. Um, and then the typical end of the prayer, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Except one's not sitting and do that. And so, 
after the prayer. Are further during the prayer. You know that the following is a prayer for a person who died a child. You know, you know one who's not reached the age of accountability. Not, not 18 or 21 or whatever people have decided in your particular area as far as they're going to retard the development by saying, you know, um, Allahumma anjalu farata wa dukra le wa shafiya an bujaban Allahumma Predecessor and a reward, and a stored treasure for his parents, and an answered intercessor, all divinity through him. Make their scales heavy in good deeds, magnify their reward, and unite him with the righteous believers. Place him under the care of Abraham, and protect him by your mercy from the torment of the hell realms. And the son of Ali ibn Talib Hassan used to say after the Fatiha, Allahummaj Alhu Mana Faratan Wasalafan Waadra. Al Divindi, a came a preceding reward uh, for payment and a recompense for us. And so those who haven't hit puberty don't have the opportunity to be held accountable for, you know, for the not being of the truly Abrahamic group. Now, I think most people even now, um, will claim being Abrahamic, but they're not really Abrahamic. They just claim Abraham is a prophet, so they're not really of his, um, as the supplication says, you know, under the care of Abraham, that's interesting. Um, thing, but the condolences. Inna lalahe Ma akadda walahu ma atta wa kulu shayin indahu the ajalan gusamun fala tasbir wal ta tasib al divinity certainly uh, well certainly belong certainly it belongs to God. What he took, and to him belongs. What he gave, and with him is the point of time. And then he, and then, oh, and then Muhammad ordered patience upon the surviving. And one can also say, 
a a thama lahu adraka wa ahsana azaka wa bafara lan mayyatak may the magnification of god and your reward make better your solace and forgive your deceased and so there's there are words in this that need prayer well tasbiru well ta ta sip um that we have seen that you know is, is in the feminine so you want to refer to the masculine uh, the male when there's a male and other when there's other placing someone in the grave bismillah wa allah sunnate rasulullah in the name of god and upon the way of the messenger the prophet of god and so a person can also stand by the grave and pray forgiveness for them now this is what's mentioned in the quran that standing by the grave on the behalf of the person now there are narrations that a person can curse the dead um the dead disbeliever the dead hypocrite um whatnot um at, at the grave now Again, we're not we're not people that should make habits of cursing people. Um, but uh, you know, there's there's exceptions, and there's narrated an exception about that one. And visiting the graves. Aslamu alaikum, Ahla diara minal. Mu'minina wal muslimina wa inna insha lahu bekum lahekuna nas alu laha lana wala kumul afia. Peace be upon you all, on inhabitants of the graves, among the believers and the Muslimin. Verily, we will, God willing, be united with you. May we ask God to be. For the well-being of us and for you.